Kerala is a land blessed with the bounty of nature. However, the two seasons of heavy showers each year have washed away most traces of history except for burial chambers and some such constructions. Today, we can hardly find any structure that is older than five to six centuries. The number of first-generation churches of Kerala can be easily found from the Synod of Diampur in 1599 CE. All the 106 churches established in Kerala were participants of this event. Most of the churches in Kerala had flag posts adorned with the stone cross. Flag poles must have been borrowed from the temple architecture. Baptism is a cardinal ceremony for Christians. Most of the ancient churches had baptismal fonts carved out from a single piece of stone. Some of them look exquisite thanks to the carvings done on them. The pulpit is an important part of the church architecture. In the churches of yore, Persian-influenced pulpits called flowers made of stone were quite popular. These pulpits were crafted in the shape of flowers, unfolding from the mouths of elephants or lions. They were made before the 16th century CE. Church architecture has mainly four parts to it. The entrance, foyer, prayer hall and an inner sanctum. The inner sanctum, known as Madbaha, is where the altar is located. This wooden structure serves the purpose of a sanctum sanctorum in a temple. The altar is also known as throne and symbolizes heaven. The ceilings of the church were supported by massive logs, beautified with the images of different animals, like elephant, tiger, dragon, snake and lion. It was the Basel Mission Company that popularized tiles in Kerala. Early Christians had only the statue of cross in their churches. The migration to idol worship was initiated by the Portuguese. In fact, the Portuguese were instrumental in popularizing the iconic image of Christianity, the image of Christ on the cross. They also introduced idols of saints like Saint Sebastian, Saint George and Saint James. Images of holy figures are quite popular in today's churches. These images are chiefly modelled on the figures sculpted and painted by artistic giants like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci and Raphael. The church bell holds a significant place in Christian belief systems. It symbolizes heaven and the ring of the bell is considered to be the call of God. The Martha Mariam Church at Kurvelangard in Kortem district now boasts of the largest church bell in Asia. The mural paintings of Kerala brilliantly mix together art, literature, religion and devotion. The murals that adorn the walls of palaces, temples and churches are a blend of various religious concepts and are examples of artistic brilliance. Church murals are invariably themed on biblical stories and characters. Most of these murals were painted between 16th and 18th centuries. The St. George Church at Paliakara, established in 1815 CE, is noted for its distinctive styled mural painting on its western walls. The inner sanctum or Madhaba of the Cheparu Church, founded 453 years ago, has rustic style mural paintings. The Persian influence on this mural is clearly evident. A traveller can explore several churches across Kerala 
that showcase interesting mural paintings. The murals of the churches found in Kerala should be a matter of active academic interest. These academic pursuits should also receive attention among global art connoisseurs.